my honor and privilege today to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Connor McCandless. promise you everything in life, a life that we will build together as husband and wife and Bo <laughs> to make it everything we dreamed of. You're my everything. I love you. As mountains are made, doors open and close, and paths are created, I promise to enjoy this journey together as husband and wife and as we spend the rest of our lives together. I love you. It is my honor and privilege today to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Connor McCandless. Dana and I would like to say thank you for joining us in celebration of Connor and Jessica's big day. We've been waiting for this moment for 23 years. I think she's 23. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Oh my gosh, I see so many familiar faces and um, Gosh, it was so good to see you guys today. As you know that we moved down to North Carolina for a while and I don't get to see you guys a whole lot. So we are so grateful to see our family again. This is fantastic. Man, my little sister, <laughs> my, oh, she, you're married. <laughs> like you're much better. <laughs> Deep breaths. Yeah, it's a, been a hard pill for me to swallow um, because honestly Jess you have uh, you've defined my childhood 
things come and go, but you have always been my constant, my annoying little sister growing up, but oh God, I love you. <laughs>Now, the first time I met Jess was a great time. We go out and Jess gets hammered, to say the least. <laughs> but in a different way, like somebody I've never really seen like this before in the sense that she was always trying to include everybody, drawing everybody in the fun, always so enthusiastic. And it's a really awesome and unique quality and I love to see it. <laughs> Your mother, your sister, and I are so proud of you and the choices you've made. Well, maybe all but trying to give your toast at your sister's wedding after a few drinks. That maybe wasn't such a good choice. You have a gift under your chair, and this is for you and Connor. I think you want to look under there. They are plastic wine. <laughs> So for those of you that were not at my wedding, when Jessica gave her beautiful toast, uh, you know, just ask her how many wine glasses she broke. <laughs> I'm going for your zero tonight. <laughs> but yeah, knowing you and Connor, you, both of you, you're gonna need those. the years raising two girls, we never thought that our future son-in-laws would have such an impact on our lives. You know, I've always wanted a brother. I've always wanted a brother. You're welcome. Oh my gosh. See? All right. That's it. Speech is done. <laughs> you came into my life and oh, you're, you sure as heck made me feel like I had a brother. <laughs> now Connor has been dating Jess since high school. I can't really say welcome to the family now because Connor's kind of been a part of the family for several years. I know for me, after raising two girls, I never thought I would be repaid for all the things that I did to my dad when I was younger. You know, things like my dad stepping in the dog crap in the yard that I forgot to clean up after being told several times to clean it up. Connor. Eating my parents out of house and home. Connor. Connor, I want to thank Ron for feeding you for seven and a half years. Okay. <laughs> I don't know exactly when me and Connor became best friends, to be honest. One day we were in school together, you just ended up being in my life. And it has been an amazing time. We have the funniest jokes, the funniest inside jokes. <laughs> I honestly don't even know where they come from. We'll just look at each other and we'll laugh. That's a great time. And I, he, he's made a significant difference in my life and I love him for it. You know, you've also done a lot of things for me that, um, I don't think you've realized, uh, like, you know, you, you shot all my deer, but uh, you, you pushed for me in the woods. You've always been there. You always gave my kids a great uncle. Like, yeah, Charlotte, who's the silliest? <laughs> uncle Connor. But you've played a big role in my kids' lives when we were just too tired to deal with them, <laughs> which is often, um, and you were right there, both of you. Both of you have been there for my kids and me and my husband, and I cannot thank you more enough.
not be the best at picking school when it comes to college for. Um, but I know he made a good choice in choosing Jess and Jess made an amazing choice in choosing him. They're great together. And I'm really happy to be able to see this relationship grow. Coming from a military background, I've had a lot of brothers in my life and I consider Connor to be one of the best. He's a great man and I'm really happy for him. And most importantly, Connor, you have been there for my little sister when I can't always be here in the same state. And I know that she is in good hands because I look out for you like no other. Fight me, it's, it's my little sister. And I'm really proud to uh, pass the torch to you. Really proud. And um, yeah, I'm not scared about it. Some, I mean, sometimes, but like, you know, you, no, we're good. Um, I'm very proud of you. You've become an exceptional young man. And Jess, I couldn't ask for a better daughter-in-law. Welcome to Clan McCandless. Now, Jessica, I know today you're really missing your grandparents that aren't with us. But I want you to remember this. They're here in you. If ever there was a young lady that held inside of her the best qualities of all of her grandparents, it is you. She had a really good impact on us, all our grandparents have. Uh, my grandma. Joe is here tonight somewhere. Um, our grandparents made a huge impact in our lives. You know, she always said that she got high on life. And God, I feel like we're doing that now. Remember to love constantly, accuse slowly, forgive quickly, and share everything. Be each other's best friends, Open your hearts to each other and put your marriage first. May God bless your union and bring you the greatest of joy today and always. And most importantly, remember to enjoy the journey.